I'm Joanne Folletta and I'm music director of the Buffalo Philharmonic. Enlighten has been in the planning stage for three years, so I've been involved closely with Dan Hart and with Allison Bolton, who is the director of our orchestra and hall operations. What was unique about the musical score of Enlighten was that all of the music we chose was based upon composers who had suffered themselves mental challenges and mental difficulties and rose above those to create magnificent music. We wanted to tie it to the purpose of that healing place. People were treated in a very special way. They had individual rooms. They spent a lot of time outdoors, enjoying the beauty of the park around them. They were given jobs. They were cooks and, and uh, gardeners, and they were really helped to find their way out of their depression, their problems, and it was a place that, that we were very proud of. We wanted to reflect on that history, on how special the Richardson Center was. Concerts like Enlighten are very important to the BPO. I mean, we have lots of concerts in Kleinhans Music Hall and we adore playing in there, but when we do a concert in an open space, we know there are thousands of people there who are hearing the orchestra for the first time, and that's pretty amazing. The collaboration was truly the largest thing the Buffalo Philharmonic has ever done. I mean, and it did take a long time to plan this. We were surrounded by creative people, artists, designers, thinkers who were able to draw on Buffalo's history and Buffalo's art and architecture and bring music and extraordinary light art together. It's, it's hard to describe. There were 15,000 people sitting there watching this extraordinary display that brought the community of Buffalo and its art and its history together with the Philharmonic playing music that was relevant. I'm Corey Fabian Bornstein, the Visitor Services Manager at the Richardson Olmsted Campus. The Richardson was originally built in 1872 as the Buffalo State Asylum for the Insane. It was actively used as a state hospital for about 100 years until the last patient moved out in 1974. From then on, for the next 40 years, it sat vacant until 2006 when the Richardson Center Corporation, a nonprofit, was formed to find new economically sustainable uses for the site. Enlighten came about because we have been spending the last 10 years working on finding new uses for the Richardson Olmsted campus. We're very lucky we just successfully completed our first phase of redevelopment on site with three new tenants in the three center buildings of the site. There are still 10 more buildings to be reused and found uses for. Our community has been incredibly supportive of saving this National Historic Landmark and incredibly patient as we find the right uses for the building. So now seems like an appropriate time to finally celebrate and thank everyone for their support. Many of the movements in Enlighten are focused on a specific moment in the Richardson's history, from its start as a healing Buffalo State Hospital through to its vacant years for about 40 years in the mid-20th century, and then now through its rebirth. By the time we got there, the of it really became much more of a celebration of Buffalo's Renaissance as a whole and how much has been accomplished in the city. Enlighten also became a sign to the world of how much Buffalo cares about its historic sites, its culture, and its arts.
From all of us at the BPO, thank you to the community and all the sponsors who made Enlighten possible. Without your belief in the power of events like this, we would never be able to perform them. So we're very grateful to you. Thank you so much, Buffalo, for supporting the Richardson Olmsted campus through 10 years of redevelopment and the 40 years of vacancy before that. And thank you for coming out and supporting Enlighten on July 28th. Without your support, events like this wouldn't happen and Buffalo would not be on the rise like it is today.